Early childhood is a time of tremendous opportunity for learning and development, where children learn through relationships, communication, exploration and play. When we think of young children, we tend to think of them in terms of their small physical size. It is important to remember that although children will develop physically over time, they are whole human beings from birth. Therefore, learning and development in early childhood is holistic, meaning all aspects are interconnected and mutually dependent. A framework for holistic learning and development is provided by an adult who creates an interesting and challenging learning environment, interacts with children in a responsive, meaningful way, enables learning through trusting and respectful relationships and tunes in to the individual child to understand and provide for the next steps in learning. ASHTER, the Early Childhood Curriculum Framework, is Ireland's curriculum framework for children from birth to six years. ASHTER presents children's learning and development using four interconnecting themes. These are well-being, identity and belonging, communicating and exploring and thinking. Next is a description of each theme and what children will learn, that is the dispositions, attitudes and values, skills, knowledge and understanding. The theme of well-being is about children being confident, happy and healthy. Well-being has two main elements psychological well-being, including feeling and thinking, and physical well-being. Children's relationships and interactions with their families and communities contribute significantly to their sense of well-being. Children need to feel valued, respected, empowered, cared for and included. They also need to respect themselves, others and their environment. Children become positive about themselves and their learning when adults value them for who they are. This helps children to become resilient and resourceful and to learn to cope with challenge and change. Being flexible and having a positive outlook on learning and on life is crucial. Physical well-being is important for learning and development as this enables children to explore, to investigate and to challenge themselves in the environment. A growing awareness of their bodies and abilities is also part of this. The adult supports children's psychological and physical well-being by helping them to make healthy choices about nutrition, hygiene and exercise. The adult also helps children towards independence by providing them with a choice in their activities and by giving children opportunities to make decisions and to take the lead. The theme of identity and belonging is about children developing a positive sense of who they are, feeling that they are valued and respected as part of a family and community. From birth, children develop a sense of who they are. Children's sense of who they are is shaped by their characteristics, their behaviour and by their understanding of themselves, their family and others. Belonging is about having a secure relationship with or a connection with a particular group of people. When children feel a sense of belonging and a sense of pride in their families, their peers and their communities, they can become emotionally strong, self-assured and able to deal with the challenges and difficulties of life. <laughs> this creates an important foundation for their learning and development. <laughs> Giving children messages of respect, love, approval and encouragement enables them to develop a positive sense of who they are and a feeling that they have an important contribution to make, wherever they are. 
positive messages about their families, backgrounds, cultures and beliefs, give them confidence to voice their views and opinions, to make choices and to help shape their own learning. The theme of communicating is about children sharing their experiences, thoughts, ideas and feelings with others with growing confidence and competence in a variety of ways and for a variety of purposes. Communicating involves giving, receiving, and making sense of information. Hello. Hello. Hey, Gary. Can I see something here? Who's on the phone? Daddy. 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 Daddy gestures, body movements, sounds and language. <laughs> Children's language is more than words, phrases and sentences. It includes dance, drama, music, poetry, pictures, singing and stories. Being a good communicator is crucial to children's development. The adult encourages children to communicate by listening to them, interpreting what they are saying, responding to them, and by modelling good communication. Any pops? Any pops? Any pops? Any pops? Any pops? These early experiences support children in becoming confident and competent communicators. The theme of exploring and thinking is about children making sense of things, places and people in their world by interacting with others, playing, investigating, questioning and refining their ideas. Oh, that's a good idea. Children use their senses, their minds and their bodies to find out about and make sense of what they see, feel and experience in the world around them. Look! It's smelly. It's smelly. It's smelly. If you smell it, it smells like you're down at the beach. Smell. You don't like it. Oh, I think it's beautiful. They gather information and develop new skills, including thinking skills. That's a great fertiliser. That's going to fertilise the, the soil for us over the winter time. And then it'll die down into the soil and next year we will be able to set our vegetables again. They refine their ideas through exploring their environment actively and through interacting and communicating with adults and with other children. Much of this happens through play and other experiences that allow children to be creative, to take risks and to make discoveries. As they learn, they retest their theories, adjusting them to take on board new discoveries and new experiences.